Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Hello, everyone. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Way That I Love You podcast. I'm your host, Will Music. And I am your host, Sharana. We are always excited and delighted to be amongst our family in podcast land. You better believe it. That's right. Now, if this is your first time tuning in, I just want to let y'all know that we are a hot, and I mean hot, sexy marriage podcast. And we talk about marriage, our marriage, life's ups and downs, and how we navigate through it from our perspective. That's right, baby. We talk about our marriage and what we do to help ourselves just move closer to one another. We try to use tools that we use, that we take from other individuals. We twist, turn those tools to better suit and edify our marriage. And we ask that you do the same as well. But listen, my loves, if you just can't use those tools, if you can't apply them, that's okay. Just put them in your back pocket and give them to somebody else. That's right. (laughs) So, first of all, just want to give honor to God because without him none of this will ever be possible and the other thing that we like to do is give shout outs to our global and local community of listeners my favorite part because they know who they are yeah they are North America North America South America South America Africa Africa Asia Asia Europe Europe and Oceania baby Oceania baby all of you all out there we see you we appreciate you and we thank you for tuning into the way that I love you podcast how you love on the way that I love you podcast you support it and you tell each and every last one of your friends what other podcasts would you listen to there is many out there but this is the one this is the one yes it is (laughs) most definitely hello everyone we miss you out there yes we do let's get those numbers up because um i think because we uh, been like we had a rerun we, we, we put on two weeks ago our mm-hmm. numbers have dropped and you know listen life happens y'all <laughs> we have been going through a rough patch and we've been having some you know just some things as far as my health and our children and different things that when life happens we have to tend to those things first so y'all just hold on and pray for us and you know um, continue to it really motivates us when we see the numbers go up. So it's like, yeah. all right, you know, and I don't know if all that do know, it is important to take care of your health. That's first and foremost. And we talk about that all the time. Absolutely. Um, for some of you out there, I have FMD, which is fibromuscular dysplasia. And it is a artery uh, disease mm-hmm. that um, sometimes uh, makes me a little sick sometimes. And, even though I may look like I'm well on the outside, sometimes on the inside, my body just kind of does its own thing. I count it, you know, to the joy of the Lord. Mm-hmm. He keeps me, my mind strong, and he keeps me going, going. And no matter what, I don't try to dwell on the situation. I just keep moving forward. But the month of February and March, um, I just been seeing doctors on top of doctors, mm-hmm. um, changing my medications and just different things. So, you know, y'all just keep us in your prayers. Keep me in yes. your prayers. And, you know, I'm not just saying this just to say it, but I'm just saying it. So you sometimes when you're doing things and people are like, well, what's going on? Because they haven't been doing X, Y, Z. And I want to be very candid in that situation yes. with our listeners and you know, if we kind of slow down a little bit, just give us some grace and 
understand that our health and our family comes first and Definitely. we're going to put that first because God put us first mm-hmm. and we put him first and how he elevates us to take care and have wisdom to take care of us um, on top of that on top of the next thing I want to talk about uh, just taking care of yourself you all out there getting your vitals checked and taking your medications mm-hmm. on time if you take medications your heart health is very important take care of your heart health and just all those things that make up the body of you and your family members to make sure that you are you know and more evident than now mental health as yes. well yes oh my goodness i can't stress that enough because come with other situations not that we don't look for medicine for healing. I know I don't. I look for the strength of the Lord for my healing. My help, my help come from the from the, from from the mountain top. Yes. And so, um, but with that, we know that God put things in place that can better help us in situations. Right. And so we take advantage of those things. And most important is your mental health because when you're going through, or your family is going through, pay attention, everyone. Um, I feel like the enemy has just tried to come against us in so many ways. And yeah. when he can't get to one to one area and he's like, oh, you're not focusing. I'm going to, you know, hit you in your health in this way and mm-hmm. do this and do that. And then when we don't focus on what Satan is trying to do in our life and we just put our um, our focus on the Lord and allow him to heal. He tries to come a different way, mm-hmm. try to attack our family and our children. I'm like, oh, see, you think you you got the wrong mama bear and the papa bear, <laughs> right? You got the wrong ones. And which brings us to our topic of our spirit animal. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, but you got the wrong one because we are fighters. We're beasts when they come up, come to our children. Yes. And so um, when he couldn't get us in one area, try to come and get in, this, in another area. But um, we plead the blood over our whole entire family. And so I'm just so very thankful. And I'm thankful to be talking to you all today about just your health in general. So this is the time um, we're going into um, just health awareness in the next couple of months. It's just going to really, really motivate you all to get tested for the things you need to get tested for. Blood pressure. Um, take cancer. All, yes, take all the preventive measures that's available. Mm-hmm. Take them all. Take them all. Take care of you so you can take care of everyone else that you love. And that is brought to you by the Way That I Love You podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so we love you out there. We just haven't just been, you know, sitting around just being lazy, you all. It's just been a trying uh, yeah. month and a half. But so our daughter turned 16. We talked about that Mm -hmm. two weeks ago. She turned 16, what, two or three weeks ago? Yes, sweet 16. Sweet 16. And we were able to give her a sweet 16 birthday. And then you all, last week was my birthday. Yes. Um, I turned the big four six. Oh! Listen, seven, six years ago. Or, or so I was the the enemy tried to snuff me out. Mm-hmm. Was not trying. He was not trying to allow me to be here. And God has given me, you know, my second win. And that four six, that four six look real good on you, baby. Thank you, baby. Mm-hmm. And so I'm so very thankful. So I, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so thankful to be here and uh, and you know just being living proof of healing yes and you know so i thank him for that um and then on on what what day was that friday on the 10th was our firstborn son yes it was his birthday he Mm -hmm. turned 28 y'all wow yes so we are just like this is you you if you followed us you know that this is March Madness for us. Mm-hmm. We talk about March Madness because there's so many birthdays of all of our loved ones, our children, and then week after that is our daughter's birthday on the 18th, and then two weeks our after other that first is born our is other born. yeah the 30th <laughs> and um listen we are so excited for uh, just what the month has in store for us and. 
you know, just stay posted as we continue to talk about talk about our journey mm-hmm. in life and, you know, what brings us close together. Yes. So with that, we're going to get ready to dive into this episode of the spirit animal. Now we put a question out there on Facebook and this is uh season six, episode 11. Mm-hmm. And did we even come up with a title with this yet? Um, I don't know, but it's definitely, we would, we were contemplating the title. Yeah. But it's definitely about what's your spouse's spirit animal or mm-hmm. what you think your spouse's spirit animal is. Yeah. And why? Why? So, um, well, we talked about how, and the reason why we came up with it is because we talked about the enemy trying to come against you and I, and we talked about our children and like, mm-hmm. um, just being a different kind of beast when it comes to your child. And yeah. I don't mean beast in a wrong way, y'all. I mean, beast like, listen, this is a different, like you take, you taking me from Sharana to <laughs> yeah, a Smackdown because you got the wrong one about mine. Right. Right. And so there's so many categories of your spirit animal that, mm-hmm has so it has an enlightenment and, and it's not being okay um i'm literally that animal it just means the heart of yeah the heart of the heart of the likeliness the characteristics the and i was just looking into you know um how it all came about and trying to dig a little bit into the origin of it and it pointed to the indigenous community of those you know what i mean you hear a lot of that in that community with far as like the spirit animal Mm -hmm. um and we say we we say indigenous some folks may still uh say indian culture Mm -hmm. um but yeah like they had a lot of spirit animals going on and Mm -hmm. it it really then it's a cultural thing Mm -hmm. so it's not like it it identifies and with who you are um I mean, it's the the ancestral trail of it is is a lot. It's phenomenal the my, way they they put it all into perspective mm-hmm. and the way it plays into. So my grandma will always talk about you know my grandma is um is is a Sioux for her, for her grandfather is Sioux Indian. So mm-hmm. that's one of the things that she will always talk about. Uh, you know your spirit or uh what makes you makes up what makes you makes up of you. And the different things around you and try to create your characteristics. She would say things that I really wouldn't understand, mm-hmm. but now understand when it comes to that part of uh, a culture. Right. And the, the whole creation aspect of it, like God created animals, God mm-hmm. created us. Right. So the relationship and the correlation of the instincts that we have as humans and the instinct of animals, you know, it's, it's all kind of like, it lines up. So why do you think people feel like it's a like it's a bad thing when you say it? Because the way you just put it is like God created this and God created that. And there's a collation with, between all of us together. There's some similarities and things, the way that we do things and how we respond to things. This is and it makes up of how we're um, kind of, um, I want to say related, related and how we pick our spouses as well, like how we're connected Mm far as uh, sexually, emotionally towards one another. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, why do we, why do people sometimes think it's a bad thing? I think people think it's a bad thing because it's the interpretations of others that have the ability to present to the masses. And if their interpretation is off and it's coming from a a carnal way of thinking or a natural way of thinking Mm -hmm. and not really understanding the essence and where the the original where it comes from Mm -hmm. i think it gets distorted and with that being fed to us changes the perspective of what it actually means and gets a little distorted some can be polluted but i would say it, it it brings some type of distortion so with me, when it comes to stuff like that, it's 
it's always good to be your own investigator Mm -hmm. so you can dig into it yourself because the only way you can encourage somebody in a certain situation is if you experienced it or you have done your due diligence to understand that subject matter Mm -hmm. and be able to present in a way that will identify with others. Mm -hmm. So we looked into our spirit animal. Now we looked online before we get into ours. Let's talk about individuals. We ask individuals online. What do you think your spouse's spirit animal is? (laughs) And um, I had said, that I felt like your spirit animal was a bear. And the reason why is because I see you as a, as a nurturer, like a, you're a coverer. Mm-hmm. You're quiet, but deadly. You know, like you're, <laughs> and I don't mean deadly, <laughs> like deadly, but I mean right. deadly, like you are a protector. Mm-hmm. I see a bear as a quiet protector. Like a bear doesn't have to growl unless it has a need to growl, right? Right. Right. It doesn't. It covers it warmth. Like you hold me at night. I can. I feel protected. You make sure you store up. You know, a bear stores up for the winter. It, it kind of makes sure that um, their that the family has what it needs. Mm-hmm. And so when I see you as a bear, that's the reason why I said a bear. But um, you know, I felt like. That was a um, that was a spirit animal that a lot of other people, you know, uh, said that they felt the same way. I'm going to read just one in that in that um, mindset. And that was Melissa. She says, I have no idea. Never thought about it before. But I would say a bear. Big, growl, but super soft laugh out loud he is a big crowd but he's super soft laugh out loud and so you said to her hey Sharana says the same thing Yolanda says that he's a lion my protector don't mess with his lioness or his cubs he will release the beast (laughs) (laughs) and that's funny because I I had chose for you I had chose lioness Uh because of the fierceness of the lioness and the protection of the lioness and how you were saying your mama bear like a a lioness and I also said that because a lioness is very aware of her environment and very strategic and can see things that maybe the cubs can't see or even the lion can see Mm -hmm. you know they have certain uh senses and certain awareness and i equate that to a woman's intuition that knows things before it even happens like you may be able to smell for miles but you're able to sense a situation before it even comes Mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i respect that i thank you for um the way that you see me as a uh in my spirit animal because it means a lot like once you break it down i think it's the same way um because when we break it down into the characteristics of a particular animal we could see the beauty of what that animal brings to the table and what our spouse uh you know bring to the table you know i can can see you like okay he values me in this way Mm -hmm. and because i know what a lion this does and i know you know it's better for me to understand that situation on how you how you view your lioness nice and the the other uh thing that we went to to kind of like take a look at it because you know i'm always digging and looking into things as well i came across this um this website uh called the spirit animal dot info and there were some quizzes on there and right. it's a, a short quiz, you know, a, a fairly short quiz that identifies. And and I was surprised, like, from what we chose for one another, how... I was going to say that. Like, yeah, it's so different, right? Yeah, it's completely different. But once, like, so you all, we chose, you know, you heard what we chose. He chose that I would be a lioness in mm-hmm. his eyes. And I chose that he would be a bear in my eyes. And I think as a comedian... 
um, that you played not too long ago. Hopefully yeah. you can give all that up. When the wife says, well, what would I be? And if you wouldn't, so you wouldn't be a lion if I'm a lioness, so we're not together no more. <laughs> What's going on? So that was hilarious that we were two separate, uh, you know, two separate uh, animals that was not a match for one another. And that's okay, y'all, because it's not about how you see yourself with that person. Right. It's about how that person sees you. So we saw each other in a particular way, but when we went online, and we answered the few questions and, you know, I'm not saying that these questions are 100 percent right. And, you know, there was some questions that you'd be like, huh? Well, I guess I would choose the better yeah. version of myself with these questions. Yeah, because it wasn't like a yes or no. It was more like a moderation or, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a temperature check. Right. Versus is it hot, very hot, very cold, not cold Right. type of response so, to So give. it's a spiritanimal.info. And so you can go online. So we took the short little quiz and it was fun because we like taking little quiz together and doing little things like that. Um, don't read in it, read into it so too much. Yeah. But it's just another way of using a tool to have fun and kind of starting up a uh, conversational uh yeah. Uh, tools that you can, well, using a, using it as a conversational tool mm-hmm. to start up conversation within your marriage or your relationship. And so our spirit animals were so different from what <laughs> we've chose for one another. Now, I can totally say, like, once my spirit animal came, I was like, oh, OK, I can see that. Because I'm a water creature. And right. you, to all of you Pisces out there, only Pisces can be mermaids <laughs> and mermans. You know, to be a spirit, to be a spirit animal, it said that my spirit animal was a turtle. Mm. And what was, was that? The, was, mm. No, I'm just saying like, like you said, even though it was water mm-hmm. and you're a Pisces, uh, your, your sign is fish, turtle. It's like, Okay, I'm interested to know uh, what does the turtle attributes have that from you taking the quiz, I would like to know what that's about. Well, it says that the turtle tourism, turum wisdom teaches us about walking our path in peace and sticking to it with determination and serenity. Mm. And it says slow moving on earth yet also incredibly fast and agile in water. Those who have the turtle as a tort, as a totem or spirit animal be, may be encouraged to take a break in their busy lives and look around or within, with them, within themselves for more grounded, long lasting situation or solutions. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, and I can definitely see that. Like, that's stuff that that you do. Mm-hmm. Like, that's literally stuff that you do. I look around. I see what's going on. Mm-hmm. I'm grounded in such a way. You know, and I'm not saying I'm always got everything right, you know, but I do see myself as a, as a grounded person, mm-hmm. um, you know, and I, I move quick. I move quick. And so I feel like this this spirit animal was right on course with what also also with what you chose. But it's funny, like I said, that yeah. one person can see us another way and then we can be seen a different way. So we take up on all these um incredible, lovely animals that God has created. What yeah. was yours, baby? Mine's was the wolf. And it says the power of the wolf brings forth Wait, let me say mm. and it says the the power of the wolf brings forth instinct intelligence appetite for freedom Mm. and awareness of the importance of social connections when the wolf shows up in your life pay attention to what your intuition is telling you wow and that was that to me that was like really the characteristics of the bear. Yeah. They're, they're both furry animals. Well, <laughs> <laughs> pay attention. It shows up. It's intelligent. A bear is really intelligent. Yeah. It's intelligent as a wolf. Yeah. And it, 
it has a community. Mm-hmm. It's a community. It understands animals. those social mm-hmm. connections. Yes. So I think the two kind of, even though they weren't the same that we've chosen one another, they both were very. Um, and they both, Close. how you say, you know, it can be very deadly. It's like, yes. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I see the I see the representation of the. Not to be played with. Yeah, I, I feel the representation yeah. of the fur for the warmth and comfort and the teeth and the claws mm-hmm. for hey. So, you know, this, what know what I feel like? The person that you are, um, your husband and your wife, they're, they are they have different sides to them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, so sometimes we see our spouse as one way, but, and we think we got them all figured out. We think we know them completely, but there is always a different side to a person. And I'm not saying like a heckle and jot, what is a heckle and Jekyll and Hyde? Yeah, Jekyll, yeah, and, Jekyll and Hyde. I'm not saying <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde type thing. I'm saying there's always a side that's similar mm-hmm. to what you may see, but always something different. Yeah, another layer. Of another it. layer. So be, you know, be, be very mindful to not just see that person for who you want them to be. And, you know, understand that we have layers to us. Mm hmm. And we can be many things for many other different people. Mm -hmm. And we also could be what we are to you is like, I could be your wife, but um, understand that I'm so much more than just the, 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 the lion that you see me. I'm also the turtle, you know, and sometimes we put each other in a box. Yeah. And with you saying that, also being a turtle, um, like one thing that stood out with that, the attributes of that for you was the wisdom piece. As you know, sometimes um, in marriage, either, I won't say, yeah, so sometimes in marriage, the spouses the, will have a hard time trusting and believing or to receiving wisdom from the spouse in certain areas Mm -hmm. you know what i mean because they may think they have it all figured out but with that is almost like look with that being said and read it's like look another how how god uses any and everything to speak to us and say look you must understand this is your spouse you have to receive and identify and know when wisdom is coming forth and that that's me speaking through your spouse to you to understand what's happening and to be able to receive that wisdom. So don't, don't buck up against any wisdom or advice because you are both in this together to enhance and edify, like you say, edify the body of marriage between the both of you. Mm-hmm. So you you have to you have to be receptive, like it's it's no it's no uh, multiple choices, no question. You have to be receptive. Yeah, well, you can get multiple choices in this in this test, but yeah, that's multiple not real life. In the test, but uh, yeah, not real life. So listen, y'all. You know, find out when you, you may tell your spouse, "Hey, I see you in this way. This you are the spirit animal to me." So do it both ways. Find out, you know. Find out what you see in each other Mm -hmm. as far as a spirit animal. It's not nothing creepy, crazy, or whatever. It just says that out of all the things that God created, out of all the animals that that God created, I see the, uh, your... I see your beauty. I see if you were an animal, if God did not create you to be my spouse, this is how I would see you. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why. And then take the test. And then take the test. And then see that the other layer, but and, and, and it may be similar. Yeah, it, right? it may be similar. Like the attributes may be similar. The uh, animal may be different or the an- animal may be similar. Um, it, you never know, but it's, it's always good. And this is what I mean by like, it's always good to kind of like, go deep and, mm-hmm. and dig a little and right kind of get that discovery because i'm going to use this as a tool yeah. to say okay i may see you one way 
but you're me. And then if you, if you took a different test and probably a different test, you'd probably be a totally different animal, but right. similar. Even so, if you take the same test, you may right, wind up being be a different same, animal. Right, <laughs> but similar, right? So listen, y'all, um, un- uncover and unleash and un- unlayer some things mm-hmm. in your love life, in your marriage, in your person that you're with. Talk a little bit, find out um, the different levels to that person, mm-hmm. the different characteristics of that person and see what it lines up with. Yeah. You know, and then take it at face value or don't. But take it at face value and see how you could uh, better fit. Now, I'm trying to figure out how does a turtle you and a wolf complement each other? Well, a wolf always has to go by the water to get a drink. Oh, okay. And, and can receive wisdom from a turtle. Okay, but then, well, you know, my, my uh, shell was too hard for you to smack down on this. So I ain't worried about you trying to destroy me. I I even I even trying to bite bite through no shell. Listen, you all, we thanking you know we thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the Way That I Love You podcast. We thank God for all that He do. I am your host Sharana, and I'm your host Will Music. Continue to listen to us every Sunday at 3 p.m. Go to our website at www.thewaythatiloveyou.live. Find out what we're doing. Listen, you have to uh, go ahead and get on this, um, the retreat. You yes. have to go ahead and sign up for the retreat. Sign up, sign up, sign up today for your retreat. Yeah. Book your room. Put a down payment on your, you know, ev- adventure. That's what it is. Yes. We got that sexy uh, it's paint a and passion vibe. with a twist with you put paint on me, I put paint on you. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, y'all. That's a lot. That's a lot we seeing right now. <laughs> but y'all go ahead and tune into the Way That I Love You podcast every week. Go on the website and go ahead and book your yes. adventure to the Way That I Love You podcast, yes. Diamonds and Pearls Retreat. Yes. And also the theme song of this podcast download it make it a part of your library that's right i said this year i'm definitely going to be putting that out there i know people hear it and they love it i heard a lot of people say hey i love it where could i get it you can get it from anywhere (laughs) it's the way that i love you song by sharana that's right y'all that's right i love you baby i love you too sweetheart all right let's get this spirit in Ah, oh yeah. But we'll see. We see y'all next week. <laughs>